good morning. Doing a little cold start. Sorry, I forgot to film it. Um, you know, I had a question come up a little while ago about like, does the does the internal combustion engine fire up? You know, when the car is cold or when it's cold outside. The answer is yes, that does happen, especially if you have the uh, climate control on. So even if it's not set to like super hot or whatever, it will turn on just to kind of uh, get the activity going. And, and I guess All probably- set. let's go. Oh boy. Turn left onto Alcott Street. He always then talks. turn right. <laughs> Sorry. And- uh, Turn right onto Covet Avenue. Oh my gosh. All right, as I was saying, I turned off my little GPS thing. Um, you know, I do think that the car kind of warms itself up in case you need him kind of thing. And, uh, so that's, that's what's going on. So the car is running right now, which does affect gas mileage, which is a bummer. You know, if you're trying to hyper mile, you're not going to be happy with that. Uh, as you can see by the energy flow, the, the ice is running and it's pumping a little power back to the battery. But as you can see, it's not actually being used to drop the wheels right now. So that's good. It's, it's merely, it's merely there just to, uh, I think warm up and provide a little extra juice. Um, but you know, it's, it's a bummer. You'll kind of watch here. You can see right now, like I've got my foot on the brake. I'm, I'm even in charge mode and I'm getting 50 miles per gallon and now less than 50, you know, which is like, it's not going to make a huge difference on the gas mileage, but it will make a difference. So anyway, we're going to take a little drive and see how far we make it on electric power. So, um, let's see. I think I'll take a look at the trip meter right now. I can remember how to use my car. So 104.9 and I'll check in once I'm out of juice. All right, here we go. We've got about a mile of EV range left. Exit to the left onto I-105 yes. West LA exit. Very good. I will say, you know, just kind of some, I don't want to say unbiased review because it's my car and I like it. Uh, but I've been without it for so long, as you all know. And, you know, this is kind of my third, my third real drive in this car since getting it back from the dealership. And, uh, Man, this thing is nice. It drives great. Like, it really feels good on the road. The tech features are terrific. And uh, the stereo is really good. Like, this premium hardened carton. Harman? Harman? <laughs> hardened carton. Whatever the heck it is. Harman Carton uh, premium sound system is really pretty phenomenal. You'd have to spend, you'd have to spend some serious dough at at an audio shop to get to get better aftermarket. Okay, so we're in HEV mode. Maybe that happened in a minute ago. I don't know. But uh, you can see we're averaging 68, 68.1 miles per gallon. So that put us at 131 miles. Let's just call it 130 because I don't know the exact moment it switched to HEV. And let's call it 105 earlier. So 25 miles, there you have it. And as you can see, I've got my driver only. In 1,000 feet, keep right. You know, so it's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable. Keep I've right been, onto I-105 West. I've been going with the flow of traffic. You know, I haven't been, haven't been like speeding, speeding. Just, just keep it up with folks. In 2.1 miles. And uh, keep left onto I-105 so West HOV. You know, does your ways ever do that? It has me get out of the HOV lane and then get right back in it. I don't I don't understand. She didn't have the hiccups. I don't understand what that's all about. Like there's no traffic in the HOV lane. There's no traffic over here. Like what? I just do what I'm told sometimes, you know, especially early in the morning. Like it's 630, like it's early, man. It's still dark outside. <laughs> and, and I think I went to bed at 
you know, midnight. I got up at five. So, you know, I'm a little, I'm a little groggy, man. Like a little bit. I could be, I could feel a little better. In one mile. But I don't. Keep left. So, um, you know, so sometimes I just, I just follow this. And, you know, and by the way, it's really nice to have Apple CarPlay. Uh, those of you considering a vehicle with Apple CarPlay, yes, it's worth it. <laughs> like, if that costs extra, pay for it. It's worth it. Uh, if you have an older car and you want to install an aftermarket stereo that has Apple CarPlay, do it. You know, like, just do it. You're going to love it. This is really nice to be able to kind of have... You know, it's nice. I've got my map going. I can see where I'm supposed to go. I'm able to film. I'm able to, you know, access my music, like all kinds Keep of left stuff. Left onto I-105 West and, uh, HOV. You know, so it, it, it really kind of, I'm gonna go ahead and show a little highway passing power here. You know, the- In 2.6 miles, exit onto exit yeah. 1C, State Route 1 North, Sepulveda Boulevard, LAX Airport. <laughs> I went down at the map and I got out of the HOV. Ah. Oh well, uh, totally worth it to waste all that gas, you know, passing. Uh, but yeah, man, really good little car. I, I, I still kind of stand by that, you know, in the in the full review of this car that I did, and I probably did it, and that was a long time ago. I, I think I filmed it in like March. And I didn't get around to editing it until like the summertime. So, you know, that was, that was a long time ago. But I think what I said was that this car is really kind of the perfect tool for commuting, road trips. You know, it's, it's really kind of, uh, dare I say, a Swiss army knife. Uh, Car. Like in when one you, mile. When you consider exit to the right um, to exit one C. Stay you know, when you consider north, all the aspects, the LAX you know, it runs on regular gas. The tires are not huge. <laughs> like, tires are affordable. Gas is affordable. Oil changes are affordable. The range is really good on the gasoline motor and the hybrid system. Uh, the the EV range is like better than better than a lot of the plugins out there. Like it's really it's pretty solid. Like yeah, you're not gonna go super far, but uh, is this my nope? I need to get over. There we go. Um, exit to the right onto exit sorry. one C. <laughs> Probably gonna need to one north. Pay attention to so what I'm doing the here. Boulevard, um, LAX Airport. But yeah, I mean like the the hybrid battery is good the EV battery is good uh, you know it's like not the best at anything but it's uh, it's really good at kind of everything it's got more power than a Prius it has a regular transmission so it feels like a real car uh, I mean it's just it's great it's got a lot of leg room it's got heated and cooled seats it's got a great stereo. It's got CarPlay. It's got a dual paint sunroof. miles. I like, it's just great. Keep right. So the anyway, folks, I gotta figure out what I'm mile. doing. Um, but uh, I may check in later, or this may be the end of this <laughs> this video. So if that's the case. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.